Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another general reading and I pray that you all are doing well and just staying safe and taking care of yourselves out there. And also Capricorn, you already know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things that I say in this message that don't resonate with you, that you don't agree with, that you hope I never say again and that you wish I'd never said at all, then leave those messages on the floor, leave them at the door. Someone else will come along, pick them up, I promise and guarantee you. Also follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944. I greatly appreciate that. And also hit the um, notification button. If you want to receive any new notifications uh, from me, hit that bell. And like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. So Capricorn, let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what comes out. Obstacles and challenges. Emotional withdrawal. Firm foundation, which is um, the first time we've seen that card come out in any of these readings that I've done. And you all are the 10th one. And the shadow card, that actually just came out for a Sagittarius reading and Destiny. So divine timing, things will happen in due time. Give it time right there. So don't rush this process. So I feel as if what might be going on here. There could be some um, bumps in the road right here that someone is having to overcome, whether this is an external energy with people causing conflicts or drama or just uh, throwing things in the way for people to kind of stumble over, um, setting traps as well. That's something that just came through. But um, also, it could just be that own internal conflict and internal struggle that someone is needing to get over and someone is needing to uh, uh, overcome. Um, it could be someone who might have a decision to make about something, but they want to make sure that they are making the correct decision. So therefore, they are isolating themselves, maybe taking a little time, just emotionally disconnecting, just so they can make this decision from a place of um, more so being smart about it, you know, using their emotion a bit, but they're being more logical, I feel. And... With this firm foundation card, what I'm picking up is some, okay, someone might be holding on or might be feeling as if someone is holding on to something, maybe anger, resentment, or hurt. Maybe this is why uh, someone, you know, maybe someone just uh, withdrawing their own emotion, their own affection, you know, as well. But, um... With this shadow card, this is um, like intuition. So using their intuition to kind of overcome these obstacles, they're being very smart and being very strategic now about whatever situations are going on here. But as I said, they, they are using their intuition now and their knowledge to kind of overcome some things, just even having to confront their own shadow side as well, having to confront their fears and overcoming those. So I feel as if, excuse me, I feel as if um, someone is just kind of getting tired of just continuously going through the same things or feeling as if these things are being set in their path or in their way to kind of trip them up, but now they are really tuning in and using their intuition now and not letting the fear hold them back. They're facing and confronting their fears and they're holding fast to that. So yeah, emotional control is what's going on. So the more and more that you continue to do this Capricorn, the more and more that is going to become um, a bit easier to overcome these obstacles and to face these challenges here on. Yeah. So with the five of cups comes out in the uh, reverse. So this is releasing any regrets, releasing any fears, releasing any doubts, any worries, any, anything that you may have lost right here. Um, you're letting that go, I feel. You're not holding on to those things. And it could have been a fear 
even a, a loss of something. And maybe because you've been in that energy of grieving for so long, this was comfortable for you. But now it's very, um, even though you know you have to get out of that space, it can be challenging because that's all you've known for a long time. This could be why it's very hard for someone to let this go. And maybe they have been holding on to this unknowingly. And now that they're um, stepping into something new or about to or trying to overcome these challenges, it's hard to let that emotion go, whatever they've been carrying. They've been carrying some kind of grief or some kind of loss for so long. Yeah, with the King of Cups um, coming out in the world. So Capricorn, this could be you or it could be someone who's um, in your energy but king of cups in the reverse this is for me is the floodgates opening up because usually in the upright is someone who is holding on to a lot of emotion but this as i said they're they're releasing that so someone is releasing their grievances if they've had any grievances or complaints or anything that they have been holding in towards someone are about someone now they're just really letting um you know they're letting it come out they're not hiding that anymore and they're releasing that and i feel as if this could be a challenge as well for them too just needing to really come clean or admit some things as well maybe even to themselves but also even to other people or to someone else here six of pentacles and then we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. So, yeah. So, I feel as if someone now having to be very confident in the way that they that they approach this. Um, they feel that they owe someone something. So, again, whether this is you, Capricorn, or whether it's someone or a people that you're dealing with. But I feel that with this, they now want to come clean and um, kind of give you your equal share or give you your equal compensation in some way something that they feel they owe you because they were kind of missing out on you they slept on you they skipped on you maybe they were too busy giving to other people or other situations but they were breadcrumbing you pretty much and when i say breadcrumbing it's like giving you the bare minimum or giving you nothing at all while they were giving other people their time, attention, money, love, affection, whatever it may have been. And this may be something that's very uh, challenging them, challenging for them to speak about, to actually admit. But they've been holding on. They have been definitely holding on to this for a very long time. But now um, it's time to release that. All right, so I'm going to pull the first two cards, three cards that came out. So with the um, emotional withdrawal card, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the six, I mean, Seven of um, Pentacles, and then we have the Lover's card right here. So, yeah, as I said, they feel that they owe you something. They feel that they owe you this uh, gift, this explanation, um, whatever this is. This is a new beginning right here with the ace is starting over. Um, it's wanting a do over right there. And with this lover's card, it could very well represent a lover or a emo or in any emotional situation. But. With the lovers, it's also about um, a choice or a commitment as well, too. So, you know, now someone I feel they are in a position of evaluating or reevaluating their past choices right here. And now they are coming to this realization that, okay, and it could have been someone who maybe even walked away from you, who even emotionally disconnected from you, Capricorn, or if you emotionally disconnected from someone. But now someone who is wanting to give you your fair share of something, give you whatever it is that they feel you deserve that maybe they did not give to you before. And you know, it's 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 
almost as if they want to um, kind of work with you now in some way or come to some kind of partnership or some kind of agreement as well. I choose you. So now like that song, I choose you is going through my head. Um, it's this uh, Willie Hutch song. It's from the early 70s, 1973, I believe. But it's an old R&B song, but I choose you. So now someone is choosing you. So as I said, maybe someone didn't choose you. Maybe they passed you up before in some way or for whatever opportunity or something. But now they want to wisely invest in you. They see that or, or you could be um, wanting to wisely invest in someone. You know, put that energy where it goes. But now someone pretty much um, maybe seeing that the grass wasn't greener um, in some ways. And now they, they, they re <laughs> I was actually thinking of this card when I said that put it in the work right here, the eight of pentacles. So yeah, with that firm foundation. So let's see what else. The death card in the reverse. Before I let go. Page of pentacles. Um, before I let go, that started playing in my head right here because the death card here, um, total transformation, but it's, it's almost as if they're saying, okay, before I let go, before I let go or before you let go, then I want to make this offer. I need to present this once and for all right here. How do you feel about this? You know, it's like putting in the work. And I feel they have been holding, like I said, they. this has been a challenge for them because they've been holding on to this for a long time right here and maybe um, wanted to get some things off their chest, but they've just been holding very tightly uh, to this and maybe even feeling as if whatever offer or whatever they say to you or whatever it is that they try to give to you, that it won't be enough right there with this page of uh, pentacles because it's almost as if they're expecting the worst in a way. They're expecting the worst or they're expecting uh, bad news, but this could have been someone um, who has been actively uh, putting in the work for themselves or maybe they've been more focused or concentrating on work as well too. Because we do get this emotional withdrawal. So this is emotional disconnection. Someone totally disconnecting from their emotions, but they're focused so much on their work. They're focused so much on their end goal that even while they were doing that, I feel, they still didn't necessarily get to, to the heights that they may have wanted to get to um, here. Because they don't want something to be finished. Or they don't feel as if something is finished. But as I said, before I let go, uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, before I let go. So what was this? Six of Wands in the reverse. I pulled this for the shadow card. First time we've seen that card as well, too, that comes out. So Six of Wands in the reverse. What else? What else? What else? Four of Cups in the reverse now. This Four of Cups has not been able to stay in this deck at all um, today. And it's been popping out left and right. Two of Cups in the reverse and the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles again. All right. So <clears throat> what's being hidden here or what someone was maybe hiding in the past or what they possibly didn't want you to know was again, this bread crumbing right here. Them maybe wanting to give to you, but not having the means, not having the resources, or just not even having the propensity to do so right there because um, someone else was receiving whatever it is that they were giving. But I feel with that, okay, that situation, it may have ended or so. Maybe, maybe not. But this could possibly what um, is challenging for them to admit what they don't want you to know. 
because maybe, as I said, they were looking at this other situation, um, you know, maybe feeling as if they were in charge of a top dog or they would have more success or more victory with this, whether this is a relationship, a job or whatever it may be. However, not really uh, rising to the heights again that they would have wanted right here. So choosing the wrong person, choosing the wrong partner, choosing the wrong relationship or I don't want to say wrong, but not choosing a relationship that didn't get them to where they thought they would have wanted to be um, here. So, you know, it's almost as if they kind of want to do over in a way too here, you know, because they passed up this chance before, but now they passed up this chance only to go to swap, go towards something or enter into something that wasn't as successful as they thought that it would have been. Um, maybe at one point this person was getting a lot of attention or garnering a lot of attention, but now not so much, as I said. So anyway, Capricorn, um, if this is a relationship right here, then hey. <laughs> Whatever the situation may have been But um, With this destiny card I feel as if all right, this, is, this, is, this was How something was Designed to go It was written It was supposed to go this way um, No use in crying over spilled milk This is the divine order of things But this was a divine order Because it is going to help um, Get to that next level As well Maybe having to go through things, uh, go through a more difficult route with things, but either way, you're still going to get where you need to be, is what I'm saying right there, okay? So, um, that's pretty much it, Capricorn. So, this all happened the way it was supposed to happen, all right? So, if this was you who did something, or if this was somebody in your energy, and you're a cross-watcher, and you're watching this about a Capricorn, look, don't stay in that um, self-pity victimization mode for so long. Just know that whatever choice that you made, you made a choice, okay? That's the beauty of it right there. So, you made a choice, okay? <laughs> And maybe your choices didn't necessarily get you to where you would have wanted to be um, at that moment. But guess what? You chose something. You did something. You took some kind of action. You took some kind of step. So bravo, bravo to you um, right here. Now that you know, now you're able, now you might be in a position to remedy that. And now you might be in a position to um, uh, not undo what's been done in the past. But now get back on track to uh, where you were originally supposed to be. So anyway, Capricorn, I hope you all um, continue to stay safe and do well. Uh, please hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell to receive all new notifications from me. And follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 All right, Capricorn, I will talk to you later. God bless you. Stay safe and good night. Bye.